All right, howdy partners, and welcome to another cosplay tutorial. Today we're going to be doing Arthur Morgan from Red Dead Redemption 2. This is absolutely one of my favorite games, and it was a really cool project to put together. So without further ado, let's just jump right in. First, you're gonna start off with just a plain blue button-down shirt, Western style like this. Uh, any, any blue shirt like this will be fine. Just try to go for a lighter tone. Uh, you can't see it, but uh, I'm just wearing a pair of uh, blue jeans and uh, a western belt with a belt buckle. Uh, but consider that optional. Next, you're going to add Arthur's jacket. Now, this is the official jacket that was actually on sale uh, during the launch of the game. It was made in partnership with a company called Barking Irons. Uh, these, you may be able to still get one, but they're going to be incredibly, incredibly rare and incredibly expensive. But this is by far the most accurate jacket. Uh, I have done some research and I've tried to find other jackets that might be a good replacement for this, and I've, I've come up with really, there aren't really a lot, strangely enough. Um, the most notable one you're going to find is on Amazon. Do not buy this jacket. The color is completely wrong. It's terrible quality. Mine showed up smelling like cigarettes. The, the color's basically orange. It looks nothing like the photo uh, in the advertisement. So whatever you do, do not fall for it. Don't buy that jacket. You're much better off trying to find something on a Western Wear website. I will find any similar jackets. Uh, I will include those in the links below. Next, you're going to add Arthur's scarf. Now, I just got a regular plain black scarf and cut it down. You can get these on Amazon for pretty cheap. Link will be in the description. But yeah, you're just gonna tie it on and you can wear it like this. Next, you're going to add a bandolier. Now you can pick these up with uh, fake shells for pretty cheap. Uh, I just got one of these and I added another belt just for length so I could wear it like this. I think the original one just fit around your waist. Um, but yeah, links will be in the description. Even though you only get this later in the game, I still think it adds a lot to his look. And I think it looks pretty good. Next, you're going to add a gun belt with revolver. Now. I do normally uh, recommend uh, an abundance of caution when using uh, prop weapons. You don't want to be mistaken by police for somebody who's up to no good, so just use a lot of common sense. In this case, you're dressed like a cowboy. Nobody is going to think that you're actually somebody dangerous. Uh, so the one I chose, this is actually a replica of uh, the pistol from The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. I think it's an 1860. Colt Navy, I think it's called. Uh, but I got this from a guy in New Jersey who does uh, reproduction weapons, and it's really good. It's full metal and wood with some brass. Uh, actually works. You can pull the, you can cock the hammer, pull it. Um, this gun isn't in the game, but I got it because this will go really well with a couple of other Western cosplays I'm putting together. I'm doing one for uh, the Good, Bad, and the Ugly. I'm doing one for uh, Fallout New Vegas. So I wanted to go with something that was bigger and beefier. And there are plenty of prop revolvers. Uh, you can get one that's specific from the game if you're trying to go super, super, super duper accurate. But this one is fine and will actually work really well with some other cosplays. Uh, I got the belt from the same place. And finally, you're gonna add a cowboy hat. Now this hat uh, I got from a company called the Nudson Hat Company. This is a replica of Clint Eastwood's hat in the Dollar Trilogy. So fistful of dollars, a few dollars more, and the good, the bad, and the ugly. I'm doing another cosplay where I'm using this hat, so this will do double duty. This isn't the uh, this isn't Arthur's specific hat. His is actually really kind of hard to find. I will try to find some similar ones and put the links in below, but uh, this is wearable in the game. You can switch to this hat, and I found myself doing that pretty often because I wasn't really a fan of his real hat. Now a note on the hat, there's going to be some very cheap replicas and some very expensive ones. They are, they don't really fall anywhere in the middle. This hat costs $500, and yes, that is a lot for a hat. But man, does it look good or what? I'm also just a huge fan of those movies, so I consider this to be a movie collectible. To me, the price is justified. 
Now a note about hats, um, I would really recommend you go to an actual hat place because they will have a hat shaper, somebody who can change the shape of the brim of the hat for you. If you just order it online, what you pay for is what you get. You're not going to be able to make any alterations to it unless you take it to somebody and pay them to do it. So uh, I really recommend you go get your hat in person because you'll be able to browse and really any Western style hat will do for this cosplay. Okay, let's talk extras for this cosplay. I recommend wearing just ordinary boots if you have them. Nobody's really going to be looking at your feet. If you want to go the extra mile, I recommend Tecovis. Uh, if you want to get a pair of Western boots just to wear in everyday life. They're really, really high quality. I own a pair. No, they didn't pay me to say this. I really, really like their products. Just go to tecovis.com and take a look around. I also got my belt buckle there and Western style belt. Arthur also has a... a side pouch. Uh, I didn't include that here, it just kind of felt a bit extra, especially since I just decided to go with the bandolier, and that sort of has the same effect. It's creating the same sort of look where you have this thing running across your chest. Other stuff you can add if you want are things like a lasso or a fake knife or anything like that. He does have a lot of stuff on him, cowboy stuff, um, but these are just little tiny little details. He also wears pants with suspenders, which that's accurate for the time, it's the late 1800s, uh, but, but nobody can see that you're wearing suspenders while you have the jacket on, so it just feels kind of pointless. And there you have it, cowpokes. That's everything you're going to need to dress up like Arthur Morgan. As usual, I will include the total price of this cosplay on the screen now. It's going to be flashing either here or here. Just, you'll see it's flashing. There will be some sound effects, so that's how much it costs. All right, that'll do it. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Those things are a huge help and will encourage me to make more videos. Now, until next time, keep your powder dry out there, cowboys. Game on.